Hello and welcome to your in-depth monthly horoscope for May for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. Also, if you'd like to have a one-to-one -one consultation with me, please see the link below and you can check out my testimonials. If you'd like to ascend above the zodiac sign astrology and embrace a more serious understanding, you can do so in a very affordable way and check out my special offer for a 12-month forecast, character analysis combination, 30% off based on your time, date and place of birth. No two reports are the same and this will give you serious insights of the opportunities ahead for you and also a much greater understanding of what makes you tick. Hello Aries and welcome to your in-depth forecast for May 2021. This month begins with the Sun, Mercury, Venus and Uranus all in your second solar house which is very much to do with the foundations in your world. But Uranus of course is quite a restless influence and it's very close to the Sun in the first three days. But this gives you the opportunity to very much think outside the box when it comes to marshalling the money you've got or trying to be more inventive in improving your lot. Also in the first three days, Mercury is angling brilliantly to Pluto, the planet of power, but also of transformation, which is in a very visible, influential part of your situation. If you come into contact with any kind of decision maker right at the start of this month, you could have a big impact on them and they can actually be very impressed by what you've got to say. But on the fourth, Mercury moves into one of its favorite zones. Yes, the sign of Gemini, which it governs. It governs two signs, the other being Virgo. Now, this is going to be an opportunity for things to speed up, to use your mental uh, athleticism in a very uh, nimble way and it can be an exciting time this month because we're going to have a lot of influences going into Gemini but I have to say that on the 29th Mercury does slam on the brakes it goes into a retrograde and from the 15th of this month it is going into shadow so just be aware of that and obviously I'll tell you more about that in time. But on the 9th, we also have Venus playing catch-up, moving into Gemini, joining with Mercury and the North Node, which is already there. And I think having these three in the sign of Gemini is going to lead to a more playful and interactive time for you personally. It could be, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, there's going to be more contact with neighbours, siblings, uh, perhaps community events that can be more... Uh, comings and goings but obviously where you're located in the world will be influential in terms of just how much mixing and mingling there will be due to the Covid situation but I feel that there is going to be a major pushback which is going to be happening this month and part of the reason for that is that on the 13th Jupiter the planet of growth the planet of optimism moves into one of the two signs that it governs and that's the sign of Pisces. Now Jupiter in Pisces is very much about spirituality but it also obviously is to do with oceans because Pisces is very much to do with uh, the water element, fish is obviously the glyph of the sign and Neptune uh, the ruler of the seas is the other co-ruler of the sign of Pisces. And I think we're going to see over the next three and a half months a much uh, better uh, prospect for us all in terms of travel, especially overseas and especially uh, by ships. Uh, as you know, if you're a big watcher of mine, I'm not the greatest of fan of cruises because I feel that they're very environmentally uh, naughty. But that doesn't mean to say that I feel that cruises should be stopped. I just think the engines need to be adapted more to make them more fuel efficient and cut down on the particulates that are emitted by the funnels. But that's a personal observation. But what I will say is that Mercury having moved into the sign of Gemini sees it come into a gorgeous trine with the stabilizing energies of Saturn between the 10th 
and the 15th. So if there is something that you want to discuss and it is to do with expanding your world or it's to do with a contract, this would be a fantastic time to affect some kind of change. Also, from the 17th to the 19th, it's Venus's turn to forge a very helpful link to Saturn. So Venus can be about money. You know, it is about relating. It can be about aesthetics, presentation, uh, art, can be to do with fashion, Venus. But I think this link with Saturn is very much to do with communication, particularly for you. So something can get discussed which uh, is very positive in terms of your friendships or your longer term future across those days. However, it is true that from the 18th through to the 24th, the Sun is in a square with uh, Jupiter, newly arrived in Pisces. But you might be asking, how can that be? The Sun surely is still in the sign of, uh, the sign of Taurus. Well, this is a disassociate square. In other words, the angle between the Sun and Jupiter is uh, 90 degrees, about, but the Sun obviously moves on the 20th into the sign of Gemini. So that's when elementally the square is more obvious because one is a water sign where Pisces, uh, where Jupiter is, and the other is an air sign where the Sun moves to. But also in week three, the Sun forges a uh, spectacularly good link with Pluto just before it moves into the sign of Gemini. So if there is something that you're wanting to transform around those resources, that can be a key moment. But I think the Sun's move into Gemini, the square with Jupiter, is just saying to you that when it comes to anything that you're discussing, but particularly of a more personal nature, keeping a sense of perspective will be important for us all. Jupiter can expand, but also can exaggerate. And so this for you is the third 12th house axis, and that can lead to exaggeration around conversations with the very same people you could be mixing and mingling with just a little while before. The 23rd, however, does see Saturn move into a retrograde too in the sign of Aquarius. This is long lasting. The uh, Jupiter retrograde is four months, uh, but the Saturn retrograde is around about five and a half. So if there is something that you're wanting to achieve around travel or around a higher educational subject, or there are links to others that you need to uh, work with on a more co collaborative and group basis, there could be a slowing down in terms of the way things are moving forwards for you. I think this is a month which sees you thinking very much and being very conscious in its early days about your own self-worth, but also how much you get recognized by those in positions of influence. So if you're shooting for the stars in terms of your work, money, the practical side of life, then there's a lot real that really for you to go for in a very positive way. But this month does see a continuation of that square between Saturn and Uranus. So even if you are trying to embrace something that's a bit different, you're thinking long term, actually making it happen may not go quite at the pace you want. But I think socially, there is definitely an opening up as this month goes on. And of course, because of the restrictive energies of COVID and the, the, the regulations that we've all had to conform to, that has been real hard going. So I think that more playful, sociable side of your nature gets a wonderful opportunity to shine. You might find yourself taking some more short journeys. You may find yourself uh, wanting to exercise in some short, bursty uh, kind of ways, which gets your heart rate up. And all that kind of good stuff can really be very much more enjoyable. But if you have been working very, very hard on improving the foundations in your world, I think you could be very pleased to see how things evolve this month. And even if you have taken a bit of a hit in terms of your earnings around COVID, which I know has been very much the case for a lot of people, I feel things can come back in a much more solid way for you this month, which can be enormously pleasing. And then you have the opportunity to celebrate that later as the month goes on. It's been a real pleasure being with you, Aries. Thank you so much for joining me. Stay safe, good luck, and goodbye.